fire demonstrations are very dangerous. Always have a fire extinguisher near and do not try this at home. Brett is a professional. Well, sort of. It wouldn't be one of my demonstrations, my Sundays, without a little bit of fire. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, Pastor. It doesn't go any higher than about there. Uh, that's why it's down here. Uh, let's move it over here, away from the speakers. Oh, and a sprinkler. Let's put it right there. I'm going to need somebody with uh, who can find a outlet for me. What? And is it going to work? Yay! That's the sucky side. That's the side we want. Alright, so there are three things you need for fire. Who can tell me one of them? Yes, Aaron. Fuel. Fuel. You need fuel. I have some fuel right here. Uh, what else do you need? Sir, what do you need? Fire. Air. Or what's in it? Air. Oxygen. 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 Okay. And you need fire for fire. Well, you need you need a light source or an ignition source. And in this case, I got matches, which, you know, fire. Okay, good job. All right, so I'm going to make sure that there's... A sufficient amount of air inside the bottle. One, two, three, four, five. That ought to do us. And we're gonna put some fuel in the bottle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's my super accurate system there. Now we're gonna spin the bottle around and try to uh, knock everything off. Aerate, thank you, mister. We're going to aerate the uh, fuel. We're trying to aerosolize it. Thank you, TJ. Now, if I've done those two things right, if I've got enough air in there, go ahead and turn those lights off. I'm going to add an ignition source and see what we get. Well, that's kind of cool. Not quite what I was hoping for, but we'll, uh, we'll adjust our parameters. We're going to put in a little bit more air in there. Now, probably we forced all the fuel out. You can probably smell it. We'll just go ahead and try and light it up real quick and see what happens. Yeah, no fuel in there. Oh, that was good. That was nice. You always say that when you're doing an experiment. That makes people feel like you know what you're doing. I feel safe. See? That's only because you've worked for so long with me. Yes. Okay. This is what I love about live demonstrations. That almost anything can happen, and it usually does. We're going to pour a little bit more lighter fluid in there. Oh, I'm, my mom's in the audience. Just She's like, I always taught him not to play with matches. <laughs> I thought I taught him better than that. Hey Brett, so, how many times have you had this not work? What's that? How many times has this not work? Uh, oh, never, because anything that happens is a result. <laughs> anything that happens in, fire, in an experiment is a result. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Oh, do you see that? What's happening? Somebody know what's going on? What's happening, little? What's going on? The air's pushing it. Yeah, Aaron. Okay, you're almost there. Anybody else? Elliot, what do you think's going on? It's sucking the sides in. That's right. So, Omari.
There we go. Yeah. Okay. Omari's got it right. We burned up 20% of the volume of the air inside because we burned up all the oxygen. Okay? And I put my hand over the lid so I can't get more oxygen in. Okay? If I take it away, it pops back out, which is really cool. Now, let's think about this. Why, what's our spiritual application? Why, I mean, first of all, it is really cool just to do, you know, flaming things. That's why. Uh, and look, didn't set off the anything, and we're still all, okay. Uh, so, uh, but what, what do I do this? Why do I do this? I do this because um, the scientific explanation can give us an insight into spiritual things. So, we needed three things. The fuel, for three things for fire, fuel, uh, oxygen, and an ignition source. In our little scenario, you're the fuel, okay? Your talents, your availability, and listen, if you think you have no talent, you have availability. Everybody's got availability. And God can use that even if you think you have no talents, okay? There's you, okay? Here's the Holy Spirit, okay? The, whoa, that was nice. I'm going to flip that over. Thank you. And there we go. The Patterson Twins. Yay! Availability. That's right. So the Holy Spirit is represented by the oxygen. Because he moves on our fuel. And what do you think the match represents? Hmm? That's ignition. What's the match represent? Anybody? TJ, what do you think it represents? The Holy Spirit? No, that was the oxygen. Anybody? How about, yes? It is the fire, right? Okay, not on this one, but that's usually a good answer. No, the fire represents, the, the ignition point represents your obedience to act. Okay? The fuel is you. The Holy Spirit is the oxygen. Your obedience to what God wants you to do is that ignition point. I said there's three things you need for fire, but we have four things up here. We also have this glass container, or plastic container. This represents those circumstances in your life that you don't understand why they're happening. Okay? And if we just had the fuel and the oxygen and the ignition source, we'd have a little fire but we wouldn't have the really cool jet bottle. <laughs> and so I, what I'm asking you to do is, what, look at it, you know, okay, your cir circumstances seem to you to be insurmountable, but maybe God's putting those together to make a jet bottle or, or whatever else could be cool. You know, we, we're, we're, we get locked into thinking that our circumstances are bad things, but sometimes they're just the crucible, just the place where God decides to show his power through you. Amen. Two other people. You can bring the lights up. Pastor's going to come up. I'm done. And uh, I want to thank you for letting us take over here. Amen.